Hi everybody, Mr. Schmidt here. I'm just gonna show a couple quick examples on this IXL because I know it can be tricky. Up to this point, all we have cared about are total number of outcomes, which meant how many total possibilities are there. So we would look at the first set of numbers and we would just simply try to figure out how many of these possibilities are there. And in this case, there would be three on the left side. And then we would simply multiply that times the number of possibilities on the right side, which would be eight, which would give us normally a total number of possibilities of 24. I don't have my pen today, so it's gonna be a little bit harder to read, but I'll try my best. So there are 24 total possibilities. However, this problem's not looking for total number of possibilities. It's looking for total number of sums. And hopefully we remember that sums are the answer to an addition problem or the total from when we add the numbers together. So the smallest possible sum is if I took the four from the left side and added it to the one on the right side, which would give us a total sum of five. If I took the four and added it to the next smallest number, which is two, I would get six. I could continue this process and add to get seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, simply by adding four plus every number up to eight. Now we can make sums that are bigger than this if we took five plus eight, which would give us a total sum of 13. And finally, six plus eight, which would give us a total sum of 14. Now that is the smallest possible sum all the way up to the biggest possible sum. So what I would do simply from here is count how many total sums we had. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 for 10 possible sums. Therefore, oops, push the right button here. There we go total of 10 possible sums, which is our answer. Now we can do the next type of problem in the same way. We want to know how many total possible sums are there, Whoops. which means that we need to find the smallest possible sum and add up to the largest. So for this problem, smallest possible sum would be 5 plus 5, which is 10. I can create 11 by five plus six, and I can create 12 from six plus six, which means that there are three possible sums this time. And we'll do one more. Smallest possible sum here is one plus one, which is two. The next number we could create would be three from a bunch of different ways, but one plus two would work. I can also create four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The shortcut to that is simply figure out the smallest number, which is one plus one, and the largest number, which is five plus five, and make sure you can create every number in between. From here, I simply count two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for nine possible sums. And that's my answer. As long as you remember those tricks, this takes this really challenging IXL and can make it actually end up pretty fast. If you have any questions, make sure you let me know.